Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Knockreiner. Today's story is about Suite 32. Suite 32 is a new named cryptographic attack. It affects something called 64-bit block ciphers. Ciphers like Blowfish, Des, and Triple Des. These type of cryptographic ciphers are used for many types of encrypted connections. The HTTPS connection you use for secure web traffic, various VPN connections, and a lot of products like OpenVPN and OpenSSL can use these ciphers. Now, I'm not going to go into a ton of detail about what a birthday attack is or what a practical collision attack is, but you can check out the Suite 32 website if you want that kind of very detailed information. But essentially what this means is if an attacker can do a man-in-the-middle attack between you and, say, a VPN connection or you and a secure website, and he can control that connection for a long period of time gathering a lot of data, he may be able to get the cookie or the key you use for that encrypted connection and thus have have access to you. Now this attack has a number of mitigating factors. For instance, it's not trivial to man in the middle of someone's traffic. Sure, it might be easier on an open wireless network, but if you're not directly in line with your victim, how do you actually control his traffic? Second, in order for this attack to work, you have to keep a connection open for a long time. For instance, in a web-based attack, a bad guy needs to inject JavaScript that continues to keep a connection open in the background. And on average, these researchers learned that you had to collect over 700 gig bytes of data, really keeping a connection open for well over 38 to 40 hours in order for them to eventually grab your web cookie or to steal this particular key using this attack. So it is a practical cryptographic attack, and what that means is it doesn't take years and years to do, it only takes days to do, yet it is still not trivial to do, so it's kind of a medium level attack. So what should you do about Suite 32? Well, the good news is don't panic. If you use products like OpenSSL, OpenVPN, and they're probably going to be making changes to their product to depreciate these ciphers and make sure they're not default. So be sure to update those type of products and any other networking products that use cryptography. By the way, WatchGuard does use products that use these 64-bit block ciphers like DES, Triple DES, and Blowfish. However, attacks against most of our products are totally infeasible. If you want to learn more about how our products aren't affected, be sure to check out the link to the Knowledge Base article that I'll put in the blog post associated with this video. In any case, interesting new cryptography attack. Not a huge severity, not a huge detail, but something to keep an eye out as updates for cryptography software comes out. That's it for today's video. Thank you for watching.